I'll be showing you today how to make your own batik stamp at home. Um, get your design ready, any design of your choice. Get it on a piece of paper, okay? And then you get your pencil. You can use any of them, pencil, uh, pen, or even a fabric, a marker, whether fabric or otherwise. And then you get yourself a Sharpie. I'm using a knife, a bone knife. Then you get the foam that you're going to be um, applying our design on and cutting. Yes, so now this is my design. I got inspired by a hairstyle. <laughs> so now I'm using the um, permanent marker to draw this design onto the foam. It's just regular foam, you know. Um, so you look for the um, positioning that will best fit the design that you have chosen to work with so you draw out the design onto the fabric onto the um, foam um, if you are not really um, good with drawing you just take your time with it there is no mistake um, with batik making everything actually turns out to be a design and you've heard over and over again that no two um, are the same so no mistakes just go ahead up, um, put your design to the foam and like you see me they're correcting um, a little bit so just go ahead do be comfortable now get your sharpie your knife and then start tracing onto the lines start tracing the lines that you have drawn onto the cushion onto the foam you know so you follow the um, imprint whatever print you have made whatever design you have transferred onto the foam you use your sharpie your knife you know and um, you start cutting along those lines so um, you see me there taking out the center of the first lines the first circle that I did draw so after going around the circle you know with my knife I now cut out pulled it up and then you know cut it from the bottom so yes you do that and then you go ahead to you know for carve out the other lines so what this will do for us it, it will give us an embossed imprint so yes go ahead trace out with your sharpie trace out with your knife take your time be careful don't be too much in a hurry because you can make mistakes. Um, I mean, like cuts where you were not intending to cut. So take your time, you know, follow that line, you know, gently, you know, and as fast as your um, cutting um, instrument will allow you. Now, when you're done, you go around the fab, the cushion around those lines that you initially traced. You start cutting out those excesses you know um yeah be careful so that you don't cut into the initial um lines that you did cut with the knife that you did trace out with the knife so you cut out around um the foam around outside and around the initial design that you did trace trace out with your knife just like i'm doing in the video um, so yes, when you're done, you see our beautiful embossed number eight. It's actually two in, in intertwined um, circles. It's actually not number eight. So yes, now I went ahead to do the same thing um, on the other design that I did draw out. So take your time, go ahead, get this done. You can make any design of your choice. And you necessarily do not have to get your design out on the paper first. If you're very good with drawing, you can just go ahead and draw straight up onto the foam. Um, but if you want to be precise, um, you can get your design, first of all, on the piece of paper. Looking at it, then you transfer that design onto the foam with whatever choice of marking you decide to use. So, yeah. So, that's my embossed, that's my batik stamp. So, this is ready for batik making. Thank you.